Hello, welcome to the second floor where surgery and anesthesia happens. I'm going to take you around and give you a quick tour of what we got here at the University of Florida. So, here you'll see our anesthesia prep and induction room. This is where our anesthesia team does all of their induction work. Um, so they take their patients up from downstairs, they hold them here, place their ID catheter, pre-med, um, and get them under anesthesia. Here's our cat room where we can give a nice quiet area for the cats and uh, they can get induced as well. So then our anesthesia team will wheel the patients here on their cart and get dressed up with gowns, gloves, caps, and shoe covers and then we'll enter into the surgical realm which I'll take you another way where white coats come off and you have to make sure that you are protecting your patients and yourself. So you can see, you're going to take your white coat off so that your dirty white coat from everywhere is not there. You've gone everything that you would need. I'll take you into one of our OR suits for soft tissue surgery OR. So we have a really nice room here. Um, we've got our surgical lights and our integrated kit here so that we can see our x-rays, MR imaging, anything that we need to look at while we're here. We can also film from the, from the cameras that display it on the wall for students to be able to see. And one thing I personally really like is we have a great view out the window of the trees and the cow fields so that we can at least see outside in our business and days. But it is very nice to have that view. procedure in place. Looks like a student's bed. So we've got our anesthesia team, our surgery tech team, and our surgical team who's uh, taking care of our patient here. Um, so now we'll move on to our orthopedic ORs. And our orthopedic ORs are equipped with um, C-arm radiography. So we're able to take intraoperative x-rays. You can see they're set up for our room here. Here's our Smaller CR for our smaller patients. So you put the patient's arm or limb here and we're able to take an x-ray just with that little area so we can make sure and fine-tune our fractures. Take you over to the other side here for a larger orthopedic OR. Where we have um, a larger C arm here where we can take x-rays of bigger patients, bigger areas of the body and allow us to fine-tune our surgical procedures while we go. Let's see. Yeah. Because we need the use of x-ray in surgery, we always wear lead. So we have to wear our lead gowns under our, over our straps and under our scrub suits to make sure that we are protected from the radiation. Now is our hybrid OR suite. So this is where we do minimally invasive surgery, where we use our scope towers and things like that. So this is our orthopedic team doing a TPLO procedure. Um, and you can see how they use the monitor to look at the planning while they're doing the surgery, um, which is really nice for us to have there. I'll take you into the other OR room so you can see a little better. Yeah, let's do it. So here's our other minimally invasive surgery room. Um, to give you an idea, we have a really nice table here where we can elevate. Sometimes when you're doing minimally invasive surgery, it's nice to tilt the table, tilt your patient, and move it however you need to move it. Same thing where we have our monitors integrated, so when we're doing our surgeries, we can see what's going on on our, on our images here. While we're doing the surgery, we have our, our specialty lights as well. on to our ophthalmology surgical suite. So this is going to have a microscope so they can do teeny tiny surgeries. And it's also lined with dark material because they use laser a lot. So there has to be some uh, protection for, for our eyes. So here is our ophthalmology suite. They do a lot more sitting surgery because when you're doing fine motor skills, you kind of need to only move your hands as little as possible. So you're resting on this and you're barely moving anything else. You don't want all of the motion of your arms. 
So a lot of their surgeries are seated. And then they'll use this, this thing here, which is our surgical microscope. If you look at that, the view. So this allows a main surgeon and then an assistant surgeon to look through the microscope while doing surgery. So it allows them to do things like um, place, like remove cataracts and place a, a fake lens in and um, repair tiny little image, like wounds that are on the, on the eyeball or the cornea. It's pretty amazing. Next we'll go to our neurology ORs. Our neurology team does a lot of surgery as well. This is where our neurology team works. Um, and it kind of opens up on this side of, of the hospital as the lobby down there. Owners and clients can't see us, but just to kind of give you an idea of where things are in the hospital. So on this side, you can see outside of the front lobby. So next, we're going to take you to our surgical oncology suite. And that's where the surgeries are performed just for cancer by our cancer surgical specialists. So, here is their OR, pretty basic, like our soft tissue OR, they have the same needs as us, but it's nice that we all have our own space. And lastly, we have something called a dirty OR, and that's where if we have any wounds or anything that we were worried is going to be infected and we don't want to contaminate any of our surgical areas, we do those procedures in here, and it's just a specific room that allows us to um, you know, do procedures where maybe they should be a little bit more isolated from other areas. I'm going to take you from the back side here is our sterile supply. We have Price, helping us keep all of our, all of our uh, linens clean so we don't bring anything back from home back to inside. So when we're in the surgical suite, we try and prevent any external contamination. So all of our, all of the scrubs are laundered in-house so that we can minimize any outside contamination. So we're back at the cat induction room where we were, and now suddenly, as you can see it very does, it went from very quiet in here to explosion of activity. And that's just because cases come and go all day, and uh, it's a very busy, busy practice. This is anesthesia's ultrasound machine, and they use this to do local nerve blocks. So they'll, um, let's say we're going to do a surgery on a leg, rather than having to deal, you know, to give a lot of anesthesia to, to anesthetize the whole patient, they can just do nerve blocks on the legs. They're going to be based off ultrasound guidance, and then we can use less anesthesia overall in the body because they can't feel their leg as well. So we still anesthetize them, but we don't have to use as much. It's safer for the patient. This is our endoscopy suite. This is where our internal medicine service will do things with flexible endoscopy. So those are the cameras that we can put in the stomach or the anus and we're able to look around and um, address disease from that way as well. They also look up in the nose and the airways. Um, and so this is the room that's especially for that and they have their own area and their own scope. And then last thing upstairs that we'll do is um, we have an awesome cath lab. Essentially, it's a very big radiology suite um, that allows us to do video uh, x-ray or fluoroscopy. And using this suite here, um, we're able to do all sorts of procedures. Both um, We share this space with the cardiology team, uh, the surgery team, and the internal medicine team. And so anything that would be useful to have video x-ray of while you're doing it, um, ureteral stints, uh, any stiff placement, you know, in the trachea, um, our cardiology team, we're able to navigate just from the jugular vein and watch our guide wires and catheters to navigate through the body. Um, and we can help do specific procedures there. And at the same time, we're able to look at our x-rays, maybe our imaging, and then some of the patient vitals that might be, uh, might be critical at the time of, of the surgery. And this is where our technical team can help us maneuver this amazing machine um, in the ways that we need to. That's pretty much the second floor of everything that we would have here. Um, feel very fortunate for all the stuff we have. I think we're pretty spoiled. Um, and looking forward to having you come and, come and enjoy it too.